Okay, Captain Larry, about 15 minutes later, had to switch cameras. Here's everything out of the Calor cooker except the uh, burner for the oven. Left burner, broiler burner, right burner, uh, flame shields for the broiler. Here's the gas manifold, all one piece. As I said, it's a tube with, get this up here where we can see it, four valves let into it. And uh, here's the suspect uh, flexible pipe, which I imagine is what is leaking. Here's the cooker with the stuff out. That manifold was held in by two screws there and one in the corner. The ones in the corner are tall with the standoff uh, a nut and I'm not sure why but uh, other ones I've seen on the net are that way. The other ones are just little self-tapping screws. So one, two, three, a tall one, four, five, six, tall one. That's the only thing that holds that in. Take a little screwdriver and you pry the pry the uh, oopsie, uh, knobs off. Just get behind this thing and uh, pry it out gently. They come right off. So uh, then there's those six uh, six screws and the whole thing comes out in your hand. Now what I've done here in the fissure, because this copper pipe wants to suck back in the woodwork where you can never get it again, is I've taken one of these spring clips that holds the, the burners down and I've used it to hold this copper pipe in the fitting here so that otherwise the spring of the copper pipe will suck it right back inside. So I just did that and I think I'm going to make some kind of a U-shaped uh, piece there, uh, maybe out of plywood or something that won't cut the tube, and uh, just keep that captive like that. Otherwise, you have to, it goes back inside and it just flops around and it's stupid. So, there we go. Uh, I think we're well on the road to uh, making this stove uh, safe. I'll take these parts home. Uh, I'll put some compressed air and a gauge on the manifold and see if it leaks. Uh, test it with soapy water. I don't need to use propane. Compressed air is fine. And uh, if it leaks, we'll find the leak and uh, weld it up and uh, fix it that way. If it doesn't leak, uh, we'll just take a wire brush and sandpaper to it um, and paint it all. I got some nice high temperature enamel, uh, 1200 degrees. So I'm going to do that. You can see that these burners originally, I don't know if you can see it or not, originally had some black paint on them. I thought they were baked enamel, but I think it was just black paint. And it's burned off, rusted off over time. So we'll wire brush those, get them nice, and uh, put some high temperature enamel on them again. They'll look like new. So there you go.